are you running out of the storage on all of your devices such as macbook and iphone and android and other windows pc devices don't worry i got you fixed in this video we are going to talk about getting one tb storage on one drive completely free and in the meantime you can get microsoft office applications such as powerpoint excel sheet and all the other applications that microsoft office 365 offers remember it's not a scam or anything and this video is for the students and the professional teachers and if you're not a teacher then you should also watch this video because i'm gonna talk about syncing problems and you can also like deal with a lot of stuff inside onedrive so stay tuned in this video because there is a lot more to cover you need to go to this link i will provide it in the description then provide the official account here what is an official account official account is always with the university name and then edu and then the country name this is called official account let's say this is an example account and here you need to type and then get started if you're not a student then this video will cover a lot more about the onedrive how can you fix the syncing issues how can you free up storage and how can you link accounts and how can you you know just keep the documents only on your drive instead of just on your pc and free up all that storage and in the meantime how can you access all those documents in onedrive and how can you easily install this onedrive on all the devices and get those documents without feeling any any kind of fear of losing the documents and you don't need a device wherever you travel wherever you go you can access all these documents in the meantime you can work as a team on your onedrive let's say you have a team and you work in an organization you want to handle so many documents that can be easily done with the help of teamwork inside onedrive keep watching even if you are not a student or even if you are not a teacher one more important thing is if your school allows you to use your official email as an alumni then you can continue this subscription up to the lifetime so you don't need to worry that after a year the subscription will expire it's not gonna expire if you use it as an alumni so you can talk to your university after writing this email here you just go to get started and fill the application form it's quite simple like two three columns are there you need to provide the information and create an account after creating an account you will land to the dashboard and here are all the microsoft apps and you can get more apps as well here are some of the apps you can use completely free and remember these apps can be free with this account on any device there is no devices limit if you want to go to check your storage here on your main dashboard go to setting and then onedrive setting here you click on more setting and here you go to storage metrics and here is your storage provided by the school and organization where you are using your account and one more important thing is whenever you create your account don't create as a personal account create it as an organizational account and don't worry about you know privacy because your documents are private there will be no third party access to your documents as i have uploaded all these documents here and you can see sharing is private if i want to share some documents like i shared this apk there then that will be shared to only person whom you provide link as you can see that this folder is shared to somebody and i can create a link and share it to someone now i have side by side windows and i'll guide you everything about onedrive if you're a macbook user you just head over to app store and here you download onedrive you type here onedrive and here it is you can install this one and in the meantime this is completely free microsoft 365 with the package as a student or as a teacher so you can choose a particular application or the complete application package microsoft office 365 here some cases you go to application and onedrive is already installed there on your mac you can check it here as well you can also go to application and onedrive could be here and microsoft office will also be here after installation you will see all these files microsoft powerpoint word and excel sheets and documents and same is applied to windows pc users on your phone you also go to app store and here you type onedrive and install this and in the meantime you can get office 365 as i have already downloaded and installed and it is completely free as well you just open office app and log in with the same 
email you created and got all the apps on your MacBook or PC. And in the meantime, you log in your drive and you will access all these documents and files. Remember to log in with the same email you created uh, in the past on your Mac or PC. So you will be synced together and get all the documents here on your phone and in the meantime you will get all those documents on your other devices after installation onedrive you will see this one here and you can drag it to anywhere you like here in the side window i can see all these files on your mac after installation you will see this icon here that is for onedrive and go to setting go to preferences here is the actual deal go to accounts and choose the folder if you want to keep some of the folders only on drive but not here on your pc or mac then you can uncheck those folders here and those folders will not be shown here on your Mac. Here you need to understand a lot about this one. If you have multiple accounts, you can also attach multiple accounts. Once again, go to preferences and remember you can sign in first. You need to sign in and give the same email address that you logged in for the Microsoft 365 as an official. So after you log in, then this interface will look like this one. There is an option here in the preferences section that download files as you use them recommended. So you always check this one because this will not you know take extra storage on your device here you can add another account as you can see that my account already like 461 gb is occupied and total is one terabyte and i'm using it as an alumni i've been using it for a couple of days now because i was student so i use my student email id as an alumni but if you are not using student id or any official id then you will have this same interface as well and you can add multiple accounts so let's get to the tricks and how it works once you have one drive here all your folders are on this place and you can copy and paste let's say i'm gonna copy this one and paste this photo here i copy and paste this one and you can see this same file is here as well look this one is a picture here is a picture now if i delete this one from the drive it will delete that picture from the mac as well let's say i want to delete this one here it works vice versa i press delete delete here and it will automatically delete that file on my pc or mac as well there you go there is no file anymore let's copy another one and now paste it here I paste this one file here and it will be synced automatically to this place as well as you can see i just copy paste here and the file is already here now if i delete from my pc or mac it will also delete from that place let's refresh and it will be deleted now the file has been deleted there is no other file anymore but you can access all these deleted files just go to your recycle bin here and all the deleted files will be there as you can see we created and deleted these two files and they are in the bin you can always go back and recover these one from deleted files here in the bin you just click on restore as they are recovered and now i just go to the file explorer they will be here after refreshing this page i refresh this page and you can see that these files are here and in the meantime they are also appearing on this place on my mac as well but now these files are also taking the space on my onedrive and in the meantime they are also taking space on my other drive like uh, my hard drive on my mac but not all some of them how here is the actual trick you know all these files i'm using this one here on my mac they are around 600 or 533 gb but i can just edit them and they are not actually on my mac i can edit make changes and do everything but they are not occupying the space on my mac how can you do that you can have you know different options one option is to just copy paste or move the files in this one drive folder and that will occupy the space on your drive but if you want to just keep these files here on the drive but they do not occupy the space on your mac then you have to upload them but remember you can make changes you can do all the editing stuff and you can see the folders and everything but they are not actually occupying your mac hard drive space so how to do that i'm gonna create a new folder and we need to upload separately those documents here on the drive right so i can create a new folder go to create a folder and i rename it as a test folder and i can bring the red color here and create the folder you want this 
this folder only on your drive but it appears here but doesn't take the space just copy these three or four files from my download now i drag these files here once i drag these files here you can see that they are uploading not syncing uploading now as you can see the files are already here and they're already on my pc as well but these files are being uploaded now if i delete these files on my pc you can see that they will not be deleted from my drive so i can use them all the time previously i deleted from the download that's okay but in the test file if i delete here delete and now if i refresh this one here it will delete here as well if i show you my one drive here and you will see this icon here these are the folders i synced so it means if i make any changes here then that will impact the changes here in this drive as well let's say i want to delete this folder and that will delete my test folder here in the drive as well as you can see that the test folder has been deleted this is just because i have synced these folders automatically to the one drive and i'm not uploading the other folders you can see this is iphone folder and this is other folder from my pc so i uploaded this one from my pc and this one i uploaded from my phone but i can see these folders and they are not occupying any kind of space on my macbook hard drive they are physically here i can make changes delete or do anything but they are not occupying my space i uploaded them from a different device and brought them to my macbook go to setting and go to preferences and once again account choose a folder here are all of my folders i uploaded from different devices uh, this one was uploaded from pc this one was uploaded from other iphone i can uncheck this one and it will not appear here click ok it will take some time because some items are already syncing so it takes time here you can also check some of the notifications you deleted some folders and you can also get back those folders whenever you need just check mark this one and those folders will appear in the syncing folder again let's say it's not a one drive folder it is another folder in my downloads and here i go to some data and here i upload something directly to the one drive online drive here then if i delete that file here it will not impact anything it will be deleted from my local memory not from my drive to test again i'm gonna create another new folder here once again i rename it CapCut and create the folder all right the folder is here i open open the folder and now i drag this picture here and remember it is from the downloaded data it is not from the syncing folder which is onedrive it's not onedrive folder it is from my downloads now the picture has been uploaded and this picture is here as well now if i delete this picture here it will not delete this picture from the onedrive because this folder is not syncing to this onedrive so only folders are directly syncing to onedrive are these folders as you can see that it says 78.6 gb is used on this mac and total size is this one and now i'm gonna show you actual storage of my macbook now, if i go to general and now storage and here you can see that this has total like 202 gb free and total is 500 gb and in the meantime here you can see that this is 124 gb and uh, all these files are not actually taking the physical local storage here on my mac they are just appearing here on my mac as you can see the only total like documents are taking 26 gb data in the meantime it has applications and a lot of other data so that is not taking all these you know folders from this place uh, shown that i synced from my windows pc and from my iphone if i show you my iphone folder that itself is around 200 gb you can see that here it shows only 74 kb but this folder actually is a lot more or bigger if i go to this place and go to the properties here details more details and you will see that it is 120 gb but on this you know syncing folder it shows only get info and this is just 74 kb but if i just go to open these files let's say like all videos or documents then i have these documents here and i can choose these documents anytime i like i can make changes i can do whatever editing i want to do all those folders
folders and all the files are synced and that is not taking my internal storage now let's talk a little bit about the office file or microsoft office applications you get with this package they are completely free as well i open microsoft office file any of them excel or powerpoint or word file here you will see that these templates are available this is completely free and the same account is logged in i can create new file and i can do basic things like 365 right so you can enjoy all the paid microsoft 365 functionalities inside these apps not only word every app is paid as you can see you are signed in here and all the emojis and paid templates are given completely free if you download any other app that will be completely free as well if you want to view the details of your account you can always go to the top right corner of your account and then view details and here are all the details here you can change your passcode and uh, your organization devices whatsoever are connected and you can do the basic you know settings here here and also check the storage and subscription status in the subscription status you can see the basic things here and advanced things as well and change the security and privacy and in the meantime you can you know deal with the app permissions here you can check how many devices you are logged in it's your windows pc or phone or whatsoever devices are there and in the my subscription panel you can check your subscription id and in the meantime whatever plans they have offered you it depends on your school that what kind of plans the school is getting from the microsoft uh, you know itself you can always share a folder or a file and the team members can edit this file you just right click on any of them and copy the link and paste this link to somebody and share it and there are two different options you can share it just to view or just to add it or give the other permissions as well this will be a link just to download and you can copy and paste this link and in the meantime you can just do other permissions right click and go to manage access here you can add some people group are the links and you can share this one to somebody and they can edit your documents remotely no matter somebody is sitting in china and somebody is sitting in america they can edit your documents and uh, work as a team member it is also a good thing for those who are freelancer or those who take online jobs then somebody can just place the documents in one drive and you can download in original quality without losing any of those mbs or gbs download the file and do the basic editings i'm pretty sure that you got the idea how to get one tb storage for free and how to get microsoft completely free if you have any question then feel free to write in the comments liking and sharing this video is also completely free i'll see you in the next one bye